So just tell me, have I gotten heavier? You look fine. No, I put on weight. How can I not have with all the junk I've been eating lately? So, then why don't you just eat a little better? Funny, I always intend to, but then Douglas starts talking to me about this and that, and suddenly I'm slumped in front of the TV, and I'm eating something terribly unhealthy. I want pizza! Chinese! Cheesesteaks! Cotton candy! Fried chicken! That sneaky bastard! <laughs> you a vodka man, Arthur? Oh, no, not me. For some reason, Douglas has started making cocktails every night when Carrie gets home. Really? I never thought he'd go this far. What are you talking about? He told me he likes a better drunk. Are you telling me he's been pouring vodka down my little girl's throat just to make her what he wants? Is that why she's suddenly become this sweet little powder puff without an ounce of gumption or will of her own? Hey there. Hi. Cocktails are served. <laughs> Don't kill me now. Maybe you should have dinner with this guy. You want me to go on a date? No, not a date. As far as you're concerned, it's just a dinner to discuss law stuff. But then... While you're eating, you guys talk, you smile, you laugh. I mean, the night is just magic. <laughs> then next week, when you go to court to contest a ticket, he doesn't show up to testify because he's sweet on you. And bam, bye-bye <laughs> ticket. It's a perfect plan. He has high def. Yeah, so? So, so, you know, invite him to my poker game tonight. Ew, no. Why would I do that? Hello, brownie points for you with your boss, and maybe an invite to watch the Super Bowl and hide that for me. Doug, he is my boss, okay? I do not want him in my home. That is my turf. Your turf? Okay, when exactly did you become Pinky Tuscadero? <laughs> okay, can I get back to work now, please? I have a very serious parking situation to deal with. No, Carrie, you obviously don't understand what's going on here. I'm talking high def. High def. Mike is very, very annoying. So all this time, just to keep Mike and Susie from coming, you've been stopping Spence from getting an apartment? I can't say I've been making it easy for him. Did he even want to move out of his mom's in the first place? I like to think so. Look, Tim, this is all because of me. What do you mean? It was me on the radio. I, I sent you to those places. That was you. Yeah, but I swear to you, I never meant for you to get hurt. I, I was just trying to get you fired. <laughs> I just feel bad. You know, like, maybe I could have done more. Wait a minute. I thought you'd be happy he didn't get the job. But, oh, yeah, no, no. I just, I mean, I said that to make Danny feel better. No, the phone call was over. You just said it to me. Well, it just spilled over. Look, I got him the interview. He didn't get the job. It happens every day. Back off. Wait a second. Did you have anything to do with him not getting that job? What? Well, you think I went into a boil and said, could you take time out of your busy schedule to interview my cousin, but don't hire him? <laughs> I don't want him working there! I broke her computer? No, I did. I just need you to say that you did. Why would I say that? Because I've been giving her all kinds of crap about getting my TV stolen. She'll think I did this out of spite. I just couldn't handle it. That's true. You're decent, but weak. <laughs> Doug, I know you beat up Spence for his homework. He told you? Oh, he is so dead. <laughs> Carrie just got a new job, and that's great. The bad news is now there's a whole new building full of these Manhattan chuckleheads she's going to want to make friends with. Oh, she loves that. Oh, let's make new friends. Let's, let's open up our world. You know what? I don't want to open up our world. I want to close our world. <laughs> Build a dome over it. But if you don't want to meet any new people, why'd you agree to go out with them? Because Carrie can't know about the dome. So what I like to do is happily agree to go out with these people, you know? And then let's just say, by the end of the evening, they don't like Dougie so much. <laughs> you know, here's a crazy idea. Uh, why don't you, uh, you know, play a game while I do my warm-ups? Well, I don't know. Carla would kill me. I don't see Carla here. <laughs> what I do see is a state-of-the-art video game hooked up to a big-screen TV. Mm, no, I can't. I'm a trainer. I have to do my okay, job. Okay, here's the thing, Lou. <laughs> You really want to play that video game, and I really don't want to get into shape. I'm with you so far. Right. So I was thinking, instead of letting our wives decide what we should do, maybe we should use my workout time to do what we want to do. Hmm? It'll be our little secret. 